Hey guys, welcome once again to my YouTube channel. It's me, Okemote Fole, your one and only tech savvy. So you're welcome, welcome. So today's video, I'm going to talk about 15 frequently asked questions regarding to Amazon KDP. Like guys, since I've started dropping videos on Amazon KDP, I've been getting a lot of questions on my DM here in the comment section and I thought it wise to put all these questions together and even some that they are yet to ask then i answer them for you guys to make it easy for you okay i really don't want you guys stranded and inboxing me all the time because most times i'm actually busy and i find it difficult to really respond to almost everyone at this stretch but this video is going to show you is going to answer those questions that you've been asking those questions you've been wanting to get answers to all right so you're welcome if you're new to this channel i want to say big big welcome to you in this channel i share tips on how you can make money online I share with you skills that will make you money online and every other thing that you need to get started with the online space all right so if you're also my returning subscriber i want to say thank you don't forget to hit the like button subscribe if you haven't and leave a comment in the comment section also don't forget to click on the notification bell so you'll be at alert whenever i drop a video on this channel all right so like i said before i'm going to show you i'm going to answer 15 frequently asked questions regarding to amazon kdp all right so if you have any questions on amazon kdp i'm going to talk about them on this video and if there's any question i didn't talk about at the end of this video please don't forget to leave it in the comment section and i'm going to add that to my next video all right so let's get started before we get started to tell you about a program that i'm putting up together for 1999 naira. it's very cheap but it's value packed that training is going to teach you how to set up a website from the scratch how to get started if you don't have any idea about coding you don't have any idea about the tech space but you want to learn how to develop a website that training is going to put you on track that training is going to teach you is going to train you it's going to give you the necessary information that you actually need to get started all right so if you're interested please leave a comment in the comment section save value so that i can add you and send you a message for all the requirements that you actually need to get started so if you're interested in that training don't forget to leave a comment in the comment section or simply send me a whatsapp message at plus two three four eight one three six nine six seven eight two one on whatsapp all right send me a message on whatsapp for you to get started i will also leave a link to the store in the um, description of this video and also the comments of this video so that you can um, click on the link and go and buy the course online or you can simply send me a dm if you want to pay offline all right so the training is going to cover how to set up a an e-commerce website how to set up any type of site um all you need to know about website development how can you develop a website without having to code and all of that how you can actually get started with a free domain and free hosting okay aside from that i already have some free videos on this channel where i talked about no hosting and no domain website registration i also talked about how to add a few things on your website so if you want more regarding to those trainings please send me a dm or leave a comment in the comment section and i will forward the details to you asap all right that being said let's head down to today's business so like i said today's video is going to be on questions and answer i'm going to answer 15 questions that most persons have been asking me regarding to amazon kdp all right so amazon is a wonderful platform for authors and self-publishers as it helps them to reach readers worldwide okay so amazon is actually a great platform that you can use in reaching out to people anybody in this world all right you're not restricted to certain location that um, um, this way i need to i can't ship to this particular place or i can't make my book available to this particular um geography and all of that but with Amazon KDP, you can reach out to thousands of people. You can reach out to readers worldwide, all right? So based on my personal experience and knowledge, I'll be answering these frequently questions about Amazon KDP. The list of questions is not exhausted and I may add more questions to the list over time. So without further ado, let's just dive in straight away, okay? So 15 frequently asked questions about Amazon KDP. So make sure you watch this video to the end. So now, first of all, 
The first question is, what does KDP stand for? The word KDP actually means Kindle Direct Publishing, all right, which is perhaps the biggest platform for self-published authors. It helps authors to reach directly to millions of readers all around the globe. KDP is Amazon's ebook publishing platform, which was first launched in November 2007. It allows publishers and authors independently publish their books, ebooks or paperback books directly to the Kindle store. What this simply means is that you can publish your book in either ebook format, that is, people can read it online, they can read it on the Amazon platform, or you can publish it in paperback. Paperback, which means they can they can order for the print format of it, okay? So if you, you have an idea, you formatted it into a book, and you, you, you don't really have the time to run around to publish this book, like to print the book and start selling it to people. Just have it on Amazon as ebook and also as paperback. So that paperback, people can order for it, and Amazon will do the printing and everything for you, the printing and the will be, they will do all of that for you, all right? So that's what... KDP stands for. And like I said, it was first launched in November 2007. Okay, it's one of the biggest publishing platform on it currently. All right. Now, second question is, is Amazon KDP legit? Now, based on my own experience of almost a year plus, I can say yes, Amazon KDP is legit. It is real platform. It is owned by the world biggest e-commerce, which is Amazon. You know Amazon. Amazon is one of the world biggest e-commerce platform where you can go to and buy anything and they get it sent to you. All right. Just the same way you have Jumia, you have Conga, you have JIG. Amazon is also one of them. And Amazon KDP is just like a subsidiary of Amazon. All right. As for the publishing part is concerned, Amazon KDP is actually um, a legit platform where you can start publishing your book and making from as low as $1 to $1,000 to $2,000 and so on and so forth, okay? So, Amazon KDP is legit, okay? Now, the next question you want to ask me is Amazon KDP free? Yes, Amazon KDP is free. It doesn't cost you any month or yearly subscription. All you need is an internet connection and a PC or laptop to get started with or even a phone. As far as the publishing part is concerned, Amazon KDP is free. Okay, however, if you need to advertise your book on Amazon, then you need to pay the advertising cost. What this simply means is that apart from listing it, let's say you want to advertise, you want your book to be having more rankings, you want to you want to be showing on more people's faces, apart from the way Amazon is going to uh, push it out to people, you want it fast. Just the same way you run adverts on Facebook, on Instagram, on Twitter, on LinkedIn and the rest of them, you have to pay for it, right? So that's when you need to pay for amazon okay you have to pay when you're advertising but aside from advertising you want to upload you want to list your book on amazon it is actually free you don't need to pay for it it is free to set up and everything now the next question you want to ask me is is amazon kdp profitable yes amazon kdp is very very profitable and you can expect a very decent monthly income from it if you manage to create some really good quality books okay when i mean quality books i mean quality books don't just go there and just create nonsense and expect to make money no you have to take your time and create quality books that's why if you watch my videos on how to set up an amazon kdp account how to create your first content book your ebook how to upload your low content books on amazon you will understand that i take my time to create those my content i take my time to create quality books because that is what sells on amazon okay you don't just wake up and just create some garbage and put it there and expect to make dollars when when the month passes by all right it doesn't happen okay so that is what amazon kdp is it's actually profitable okay it's actually profitable and it doesn't require any upfront cost. All you need to invest is your time. All you need to invest is your time. All right. The fifth question is, is Amazon KDP worth it? Yes. Amazon KDP with the time and effort you put into self-publishing business. However, to be successful at Amazon KDP, you need to hone your 
KDP niche and keyword research skills. The KDP business is a three-step process. That is, you have to research, you have to create, and then upload. If you master all these three aspects of the KDP, then you are good to go. You are good to go, all right? You need to master those three aspects. If you master them, then another KDP is worth it for you. If you know how to research, you know how to create, and you know how to upload your book very well, then you are good to go on Amazon KDP, all right? It's worth it. It's worth it. Now, the sixth question is, how does Amazon KDP work? Hmm. How does it work? Now, first of all, you have to create an ebook or a paperback and publish it to KDP. When I mean an ebook, I mean in a PDF format. Your book has been edited and formatted in a PDF format and you upload it on Amazon so people can read it online. They can read it online. Then the paperback aspect is that you have to make it available in such a way that Amazon can do the printing for you. Help you to send it to the customer who makes order. So you see how sweet it is. You don't need to start running around to think of, oh, how do I start um, printing this book? Okay, somebody just ordered for just one copy. How do I start printing this thing and sending it to them? Okay, you don't need to worry about that. Amazon is going to do all of that for you. Now, secondly, KDP creates a listing of your book on Amazon. So, Kindle Direct Publishing, I'm, I'm actually trying to explain to you how Amazon KDP works. Now, after you've created and you've uploaded, Amazon KDP will now have to create a listing for your book on Amazon, meaning they will start listing your books amongst those that are on Amazon. So when I said, please make sure you are working on quality, don't just create garbage. If you create garbage, your books are not going to sell. You're not going to see any good result regarding to that. All right. Now, thirdly, your readers can now purchase your ebook. That is, you instantly send it to them through their Kindle device. So they can start reading it from there. All right. Your, your readers can start reading your book from the Kindle device. They'll start reading it from there. They don't need to go outside the Amazon uh, platform to read it. They can read it from there in the ebook format. But the paperback, they have to uh, pay for it. And then Amazon, we have to publish, we have to uh, print, we have to send it to them. All right. That's the third step. Now, the fourth step on how Amazon KDP works is that. Your readers can purchase the paperback version of your ebook, which is what I just actually explained now. Amazon KDP will use their POD, which is print on demand. Okay, so whenever you hear the word POD, it simply means print on demand. So they will use their print on demand technology to print and ship your book directly to the readers that purchase your book. Okay, so that is the fourth way that Amazon KDP works. The next thing is KDP will pay you on royalties for each book or paperback you sell okay so if you have a an ebook on amazon that is for five dollars you should be having royalty of um let's say two dollars whenever someone purchases it if you have a paperback of eight dollars you should be having um royalties your 60 percent royalties of about um let's say three dollars three point two dollars or thereabout okay so they pay you in royalties you get to you get to um, um get your pay in royalties whenever someone orders for your book on that platform so that is how um amazon kdp works these are the six i just mentioned six steps one i said you have to create the book or the paperback and then you upload it on kdp secondly you have to um create a listing of your book on amazon thirdly the, your readers can now purchase that book instantly and then they will get it on their kindle device and start reading it fourthly your readers can purchase the paperback version of your ebook amazon kdp will then use their print on demand technology to print and ship that book directly to the readers once they have purchased it the fifth now kdp will pay you your royalties for each book or paperback you have sell, you have sold whenever you make a sales on amazon kdp there's a royalty that you will get okay there's a royalty you're going to get now the seventh question most people ask is can i have two amazon kdp accounts <laughs> the short answer the shortest answer to that question is no kdp terms of services you are not allowed to have more than one kdp account with the same name and bank information okay so however if any of your family members can have a second kdp account or you can have a second kdp account for your business with the name and bank what this simply means is that you can create an amazon kdp account with maybe someone else's name 
and bank account details but i really don't advise that i don't advise that okay but if you want to give it a try no problem but i sincerely don't advise you have to kdp account have one account and put all your time and investment there all right so that is for that now what can you sell on amazon kdp i do get these questions all the time so what can you sell on amazon kdp on kdp you can sell ebooks paperbacks book and hardcover all right you can sell ebooks you can sell paperback and you can sell hardcover these are the three major things that you can actually sell on amazon kdp your ebooks are more of like pdf of your your job that people can pay for and read on kindle devices then the paperback of it is the print format of it which is the soft copy of it the soft back i know you you know when you when you have um most times you go for marriage ceremonies and they give you jotters we have two types of jotters right we have the one that the cover is so thick that if someone uses it to hit you you feel the pain then we have the one that the paperback is um, the paper of it is very very light. That is what that's the one we're talking about, which is the paperback books. The the cover of it is so light, it's very light, which is the normal textbook that you know how it is. While the hard cover is the jotter, those thick jotters they do give to you in ceremonies. Okay, so those are the things that you can actually sell on Amazon KDP. You have the ebooks, we have the paperback books, and then we have the hard cover books. So another question most people ask me is that how much can I make on Amazon KDP? So this is how Amazon KDP works. We have the royalty plans of um, 40% and then 60%. Before now, it used to be 35 and 70, but currently it is 60%, 40%. So you can decide what's the royalty plan you want to use, okay? So if your book is priced at $2.99 and above, you can get 70% of the sales. If it is priced below that, you have to get 30%. Or 40 percent of the sales which is the royalties we're talking about okay so that is how you can earn from amazon now if you choose if you choose to publish a paperback book of 120 pages black and white paper and you price it at 6.99 dollars you will earn 1.90 dollars as royalty per copy sold now here comes the answer to the next question how much money you can make with Amazon KDP depend on a lot of factors. Okay, there are a lot of factors that will determine how much you can earn on Amazon KDP. Now, these factors include the topic of your book, the quality of your book and the cover design, your advertising budget or book promotion strategy, if at all you want to advertise your book, the amount of following you have, and the amount of luck. Now, some people get lucky and their very first book becomes a bestseller. It is very rare though. This particular one is very, very rare. It's very, very rare. So don't even, <laughs> don't, don't, don't start putting all your effort on luck that like you want to be lucky. No. But it's actually one of them. Some people are so lucky that their first book gets bestseller. All right. So that aside, your topic determines how much you can start making on Amazon KDP. The quality of your book and the cover design. That's why I said, please don't design rubbish and put on Amazon KDP. You will just be there wasting your time. Now, your advertising budget, if you want to run adverts on Amazon KDP, okay, it actually determines how much you can earn, all right? So, the royalty plans currently for Amazon KDP as of 2022 is 60% and 40%. So, it depends on how you price your product. That is when you can have access to the 40% and also have access to the 60 royalties. All right. Now the next question is what is Amazon KDP select? What is Amazon KDP select? Now, as you can read from KDP itself, KDP select is a free 90 days program to Kindle ebook. It allows you to reach more readers through Amazon and Kindle promotion. All authors and publishers, regardless, are of where they live are eligible okay anybody on amazon kdp is eligible there is no restriction to saying you are from so so place you are not eligible to kdp select and all of that you are eligible wherever you are wherever location you are from you are eligible to amazon kdp select what they do is they enable your book to to get to other people readers through amazon and that want to get your books, that want to read your books, okay? That's what KDP select does for you. Say, for example, you are doing a 
you're doing a free promo for that particular book, you want people to have access to the book for a particular period of time, you can enroll your book for Amazon KDP sellers. And like I said before, wherever location or geographical um, settings you're from, you are eligible to that KDP select. It's not restricted to a particular set of people, okay? Anybody can have access to it. Now, the next question uh, people ask is, what is Amazon KDP expanded distribution? Okay, what is Amazon KDP expanded distribution? What this simply means is that Amazon KDP is going to expand your book to people who wants to buy it in wholesale, who wants to buy it in retail, even without having access to you, okay? So, KDP does that for you through their um, expanded distribution. Now, not all paper book or paper bag books are eligible to be enrolled in expanded distribution as KDP has restriction on certain trim sizes and languages. You can easily enroll a paper bag book into expanded distribution. Just go to the pricing page and look for the little check box next to the pricing box, both the in the USA and UK marketplace. You know when you're trying to upload your book on Amazon KDP, you always see um, places where they say, do you want this book to be on all over the place or you just want to be on a um, certain market where you see option for Amazon.UK, Amazon.com, Amazon.US. You see, that is what it means for your book to be uh, on Amazon KDB expanded distribution. So in that particular um, aspect, when you get to that phase, you select, you want it to be all over territories. You want it to be all over everywhere. So that is where you have access to the KDP expanded distribution. But if your book does not meet up to the certain trim sizes, that is when they want to trim your book to size, if your book doesn't meet up to it, you might not be enrolled on it. So you have to make sure that you follow through to the Amazon KDP calculator, the cover calculator, which I normally use. If you watch my videos, you'll notice that I use that KDP cal um, cover calculator in determining the size of each of my contents, both the interior and the cover. All right. Now, the 12th question that people usually ask is Does Amazon KDP print hardcover books? Okay. In 2021, these hardcover books were, was in um, testing stages. Okay, it wasn't available then, but now it is available. Right now in 2022, Amazon KDP hardcover books are now available. But the minimum and maximum page count is within 75 and 550 pages. So Amazon KDP hardcover books, you must have up to 75 pages. If your book is not up to 75 pages, you're not eligible for hardcover book. All right. And there are five available trim sizes for hardcovers, which I think I'm going to touch in my next video. All right. So now the next question people ask is, how is KDP cover size calculated? How is it calculated? Now, the dimensions of the covers are usually 2,560 pieces in height and 1,600 pieces in width for a paperback book. You need to do a bit of math to calculate the cover size. So if you watch my videos very well, there's a particular place where I go to the KDP cover calculator, all right? So just search for KDP cover calculator on your browser and you will see that particular site is going to show up. So when you get there, you determine what you want to make. Is it a paperback? Is it a hardcover? You have to um, determine the interior sizes. Is it 8.5 by 11 inches? Is it 6.9 by um is it six by nine inches is it 5.5 by um eight inches you have to determine the size once you know the size of what you're working with amazon kdp cover calculator is going to bring out the sizes of the cover you are to work with as a matter of fact they are going to provide you with a template which you can download on your your phone or even your system and then upload the uh, png or jpeg format of it to your canva or wherever pattern you're working with, this will direct you on the sizes. This will direct you on where to write on and where not to write on, okay? So, KDP cover uh, width is, that is the front cover. The, the KDP cover width, if you want to actually get it, is a combination of the front cover plus the spine plus the back cover and the print 
speed the print bleed i mean to say now what this simply means is when you get a book you usually see the cover which is the front page you see the back page right and then you see something like um the gap between the front and the back which is where the whole book accumulates on at the back that is where we call the spine okay so i'm going to leave an illustration on this video to show you what i actually mean by that now the the print bleed is when the, they are done printing there are some parts they will have to trim off so those are the parts that you have to make available also so that after they finish trimming you don't have issues with ah you people trim this thing to the print the areas i want to be showing so you have to ap apply that when you are um, calculating your cover now your your print bleed is usually 0 0.25 okay 0 0.25 so if you want to add print bleed on your work always make sure you add 0 0.25 so for example if you're working with um, something like let's say 8.5 by 11 inches or 6.9 um, 6.9 inches or 6 by 9 inches on your cover calculator you're going to notice that they are going to add 0 0.25 0 0.25 on each of them so you should be having something like um, 6.1 6.115 in total instead of 6.9 inches you get so that is how it works now the next question people ask is what size should a kindle book cover be a kindle book cover what should be the size now as for kdp for a kindle ebook the cover height should be 2560 pixels and the cover width should be 1600 pixels the minimum dimensions for an ebook are 1000 pixels in height and 6,625 pixels in width. And then the maximum dimensions for a cover image should not exceed 10,000 pixels in height and in width. Okay, so you have to put this in consideration when you are putting your Kindle ebook. Now, the 15th question is, which is usually the last question, and then we'll summarize it all. Is there a minimum page count for KDP? Yes, there is a minimum page count for KDP. Now, if you are working with, let's say, you want to work with, um, you know, we have trim sizes, we have the color, that's the interior color of your job. If you're working with, um, if you're working with paperback or low content, let's say low content books, you only have access to black ink and white paper you don't have access to colored for that meantime so black ink and white paper they have um page count so you should be seeing something like i'll leave this particular diagram on this video you're seeing now so you can actually get access to the trim sizes we have for five by eight inches you should have 24 to 828 pages okay so I'm just going to drop this particular image there so that I don't take time in trying to explain it all to you. So like I said before, if you're working on Amazon hardcover, the maximum, the minimum and maximum pages is within 75 to 550 pages. If you're working on a paperback, it's usually within 24 pages and above. So anything below that, just know that your book, might not be accepted on kdp all right so guys let's summarize it all i've been able to share with you some frequently asked questions on amazon kdp where i talked about what is kdp what is um is it possible to have two accounts and all of that um how is kdp size calculated does kdp print hardcover books and what is amazon kdp expanded distribution is amazon kdp select free or uh, what is it all about i've been able to touch all of that okay so if you got value from this video please make sure you leave a comment in the comment section and do not forget to subscribe to this channel hit the like button and turn on the notification bell so you'll be at alert whenever i drop a video on this channel so guys remember at the beginning of this video i told you about a training that is coming up which is on website development and the training is actually up for a grab for 1999 naira. It's actually cheap compared to how much I charge on my one-on-one -on -one course, okay? So if you know you can't afford my 
one-on-one -on -one tutoring section which is over 50,000 naira. You should join this particular section where I'll be showing you guys how to get started on website development without having to code. So if you don't have any knowledge about coding, you're scared of coding, you don't know how to get started and you have a laptop, you're looking for a skill to learn to generate funds for you, then you should be here on this training. It's actually going to kick off on the 26th to 27th of August, okay? So if you're interested, you can leave a comment in the comment section saying interested and then I'm going to inbox you with all the details that you actually need to get started or still you can check the comment section and the description of this video where i will show you um the link to purchase this ticket on my online store all right so see you don't forget to subscribe if you haven't see you in my next video bye